Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to Ama H2K. Before we get some work done, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, so um, in Ama Piano Music, the genre keeps on evolving, right? And this is the reason why I keep on making this um this log drum presets because things are just changing every day you woke up today there's another sound you woke up tomorrow something else as well so um i'll make sure that um i find out what's happening in ama piano and i'll make sure that we have the translation of that uh to uh, our ableton live because us is ableton live uses guys sometimes it is not simple, you know, just to uh, do this um, a piano um, uh, sounds in Ableton Live. So, yeah, let's uh, get some work done. So, if you actually uh, listen to a lot of ama piano music nowadays, like uh, these log drums are being saturated a lot. Some of them are just clipping them. They're just doing whatsoever that they want to do with, with, this, um, with this log drum. But let's have a listen to uh, this one. So, um, I don't know if I should compare it with um, with um, with our first um, log drum rig, which is the one that I'm rigging right now. Yes, so maybe we might get um, an idea. All right. So what I'll do is I will copy this clip here, copy the clip, and then I will paste it here. All right. So clip pasted. When I need full screen, okay, great. So, so it's it's like this. So, so if you listen to it in your in your headphones, you hear that it is actually great, but um, it needed more uh, punch and that kick. It has to be uh, you know punch nicely and also the low end. So that's why we have this one. So if you listen to this one now and you listen to this one the difference and inside this they are amazing presets so let me just go to a specific section um of the song and then um i'll play the the preset in fact let me just play the whole song then i'll jump into the presets and then um i will explain uh what's happening here with the with the macros on our i'm 82k log drum b which is a new improved log drum rack from the previous rack which is um this one and also this project like i said it is included in the description below if you want to grab it in case you want to hear how this log drum sounds on it on a track or so or if you might to you know um do something so let me just play from the scratch i'm playing the whole song you can hear the the punches that i'm talking about and um with things like saturating it works because um let me um turn off my saturation so i, I removed saturation here and i also have another sub saturation on the group so this is just like the dry so even when you when you listen to it it still has that saturated character is just the way i um i i worked on this log drum from scratch in terms of designing coming up with the better envelopes those attack decays all those things yeah saturation
okay. <laughs> My the saturation was off. Let me just play this last section with the saturation a little bit. You hear that? Um, that hardness of it. All right, great. So, uh, let's just jump into the presets uh, real quick. So, um, let me play this section. I'm gonna uh, mute the sub bass. So let's browse presets. This is the first preset. I referenced this one from FO Studio Log Drum. And then we have this one, which is a little bit softer. So this one, the difference is that we have more attack here. This one, we get, it's a little bit softer. And then moving on to Ama 82 k one. So with this one, if you're listening, experience more more thickness as compared to this one to the first one as well so let me just go next this one just give you that higher that upper tone and i'll explain why do we have like a precious that's uh you have like a higher octave but let me just uh um um move on this one is just that log drum whereby like you don't wanna sound like a log drum but at the same time <laughs> you are you are doing log drum <laughs> I like it sound so so you can just duplicate this preset and then maybe somehow somehow you just you know i put it for example if i duplicate it like this right and then um when you're doing your your, your song you can just uh pick a specific um section maybe you can just uh do something like this to say you only want it to play here. Yeah. Um, so here, yeah, let's uh, pick a log drum, which is this one. Or oh, and let me just take take the first one. You see, that's what I'm talking about. So you just make some chop, chops, chops, chops. Uh, this is how you're gonna achieve that um uh, funny sound. All right. So let me move on to um uh the other uh, presets. Okay. Okay. All right. So this one is a sub. So if you actually listen to, we have this sub. So these subs are two. So we have this one and uh, we have. Uh -huh. And then we also have uh, this one far away. Am I playing far away? Oh, no. What's happening? Some something fish. Something fish guys. Oh, I'm changing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is the far way that uh, I know. I was like, what's happening now? Okay, great. So moving on to the kick one. This one, the kick is kind of more upfront. So it's just those those log drums. And then we have this silent high octave, and then we have the silent low octave. And then even if you check this low octave, it will sound a little, a little bit different from, from this one. So, but let me just play this one with the song. So, this is a silent lock drum whereby, you know, we're not punching. We just... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so... so, let's say you want to design your own uh, preset, actually. So you start uh, with the blue section, right? So you you here this is where you're gonna pick like an octave, kind uh, kind of you know. So you can pick uh, maybe one, right? And then um, after uh, doing this, let me just have all this, all this to all the way to zero. So once you pick a, a low octave, cause if you can actually hear that this is higher, 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 higher octave, and because we're doing log drum, so we wanna make sure that. We are on uh, low octaves, right? And then the next thing that you need is a bit of attack. So around uh, 0 
um, here just to remove this. For example, you see, it's smoother than it is this click. So just to remove that and maybe somewhere around it, um, 0 0.20 milliseconds, then you can uh, crank your decay to somewhere here and then we need some release. So once uh, you're done coming up with the uh, like proper values for your uh, your sub, then we can jump into the modulation section. So we have modulation one, which is this red red, and then the modulation two, the little red here. So now um, we can pick another octave here. So we can do something like this here. Uh, we can pick uh, even four, and then we can have this attack. Right, great, maybe somewhere there, and then we need this sustain. And here it's now coming. But once we put the release, it, it sounds like a lock drum. See, and then we're gonna have to take down this um this decay a little bit. Even this one too. Something like that, even this release. Maybe something, let's just uh, have this one a little bit up. And then this decay as well, maybe. So let's try to crank the decay and we'll hear the difference. So yeah, it is actually um simple to use, guys. Um, That's it uh, for, for the controls. And then um when you are in piano roll, right? Now uh, let me just show you something real quick. Um, if you um, zoom and um, um, uh, make this too small, small like this. Uh, in fact, let me just do it on the second one. So here on the pan. So you see. Okay. Of which you can also achieve the similar sound by um, automating the, the, mod, uh, the modulation sustain one. So let's try on D and D, so we can try here. Uh, so, so, so. Okay, great. Um, and then um, one more thing. The reason why um, um, I keep embracing um, the term um, I um, mm. then one more thing. Um, the velocities are working perfectly here. So, for example, if you don't want your your lockdown to hit harder, you want it softer. You can hear that. hear this even when you're playing it on the keyboard you see softer hard harder so yeah the velocity it is working perfectly uh that i fixed on this one too as well so yeah um if you want this project like i said the link is in the description below guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh to my youtube channel if i hear something new I will I'll try my best to translate it from <laughs> FOS Studio. It's like you tr we are translating French to English or English to French. So from image line to uh, Ableton Live. So check out. I'll be releasing more presets for Ama Piano. Love you guys. Uh, let me play it from the last section. Then I go. I think I forgot to um to 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 talk about um uh, things like saturation. So if you listen to um this one um actually I do I do have a bit of saturation which is this. So um I also have another saturation on the group here. So real quick, this is the log drum without the saturation. So here yeah, with the saturation, because people are saturating these log drums nowadays, guys. So you also have to saturate by any by any chance, but this is just default settings, and I think I changed it from analog to uh, this. So you try this 
forward, what, what. And then you just have your, your, your dry and wet a little bit lower there. And then uh, what else? Um, and then I also have another situation here. Yeah, the reason why I have another situation on the group is because I have a, a log drum and a sub right here, so which is perfect. So all these uh, two together, um, then I am trying to glue them again with a little bit of um, another saturation. You see, I just have a little uh, bit of dry uh, of a uh, drive there. So yeah, that's why it's sounding like this. And this gives you the the best ama piano log drum sound at the moment and then i forgot to uh point this hey i'm sorry guys i don't want to make this tutorial long but i have to try my best to make sure that i leave all the helpful information to you guys so that when you're doing um uh your uh your log drums you do them uh in the right way so so on the sub as well, like um, isn't it? I'm saying yeah, they they are presets for the sub. So you can modulate. You can actually automate this. That's what I was doing here. So you hear, you hear that? You see? Hear this? Oh. So let's have that log drum on top of this. Let's, let's start from here. Can you hear this? Oh, I like it. And then let's just uh, play with a beat. Okay, guys, see you next time. Check out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you guys.